Hello and welcome to the seventh lesson of our WordPress beginner to advanced course where our ultimate goal is to become job ready to start providing freelance services with WordPress and Elementor on Upwork, Fiverr or whatever freelance marketplace you would love to work on. So without further ado, let me give you a quick information regarding this specific lesson, what you are going to learn from this complete video. I'm going to cover everything you need to learn, you need to know about menus on a WordPress website throughout this lesson. I'm going to show you how to create menus manually, how to create header menu, how to create footer menu manually. So let's say a client hired you on um, to work on his or her website and there is no menus available or let's say there are some menus available but you have to customize them you have to add them from the back add some few items from the back end so how you can do these things so if you want to learn please watch this video till the end you will become completely clear so here if I just take you here on our current web page and if I reload this page you are going to see that by default with this theme installation we have got our very first menu available here we have just added this services page in this menu item but we didn't learn how to create menus in manually so and if we just notice we don't have a footer menu as well in this website so let's just go for it and we are going to create the header menu and then the footer menu manually so let's take let me take you to the dashboard and after that from appearance if I take you to menus and I'm going to delete this primary menu which comes along by default from the WordPress installation so let's just click on delete this menu click on OK and yeah now if I visit the web page in a new tab you are going to find that we don't have a menu on the website so let's just go for creating the menu and we are going to learn about these drop down menus as well by adding sub items on the menu okay so let's just go back again here and as you can see it is telling us give your menu a name then click create menu so that you will be able to create our first menu so let me just create the primary menu first. I'm going to give the name, whatever name you'd love, you can simply keep. I'm going to type out header menu here as of now. And then make sure, as you can see, primary menu is selected here. If I select it as secondary menu as well, it is going to work on, on header menu and footer menu at the same time. But I don't want to add header menu items in the footer section I want a custom one so I'd love to uncheck this one and after that let's click on this create menu button or this create menu button both of these buttons are going to work exactly same for us so let me just click on create menu button and after that we have to select the items which we want to add as our menu so if I reload this page again you will see nothing happening here nothing has appeared just other than this uh, logo is just placed in the left side but no menu is appearing here so let me just take you back here and after that we are going to add the item so as you can see we can select items from pages posts custom links and then we can add items from menu items from categories as well and I'm going to show you each one of these options work how these things works okay so first of all let's go with the pages so I'm going to select view all or click view all so that I'll be able to see all the pages available on my website so as of now this is working as our uh, home page so let me select this one then blog home about sorry the services and after selecting all of these items I have to click on this add to menu button from here so that they, they will be appearing here now if you just notice that we have got this front page with this custom menu level okay navigation level so I, we, we are going to make changes here on this level so first of all let me just save this menu and show you what are the changes just happened by simply adding them from here to this field so if I reload this page here you are going to see we have got the menus already added here this is going to be our home page 
uh, and we're going to make it custom soon then i have got this blog about contact services now we want to make the correction here or actually the modification here on this menu item then we are going to place them properly after home page i want about page then i want service page then i want blog page and then i want the contact page so let me show you how you can align everything properly on the header menu so let me take you back on this menu page here and after that as you can see this is create your website with blogs which is selected as the front page which is our home page so i'm going to click here and then i'm going to from navigation level let's change it to home and now if i click on save menu and reload this page just take a look we have got home page here if i click here it is going to take us to the home page which is selected as our front page now it's time to align these items so let's go back again here and aligning items are really easy you already know from the previous lesson so let me just drag this up right here okay and then we have got services and blog and contact now if i click on save menu if i reload this page just take a look how nicely they are organized all right so now let's go for creating sub items or sub menu or drop down menu on a wordpress website so as you can see whenever i am hovering on blog nothing happening so if i visit this learn you can see that we are seeing all these um categories are appearing here so if i click on let's say blogging here sorry youtubing here so i'm going to see all the posts are appearing regarding to youtube and youtubing right so now let's make this same functionality happening on our website so let's go back here actually here and after that i want to add all the categories so if i show you currently we have got freelancing and wordpress categories added on our website which we have created from blog post maybe um okay so on this lecture we have created these um categories and tag stuffs okay so now we are going to use them on the menu okay so let me take you back here and after that from categories i want wordpress and freelancing to be added as the sub menu of blog so let's just select them let's click on add to menu and they are going to be added here if i save them it is not going to place properly okay so if i reload they are going to be appearing here if i click on freelancing i am going to see all the posts regarding to freelancing or relevant related to freelancing if i click on wordpress it is going to show me all the posts relevant or rela related to wordpress only okay but i want them to be appeared right under blog menu here so let me take you back here and after that i have to simply drag it here and keep it like this okay same thing for wordpress simply drag and drop this here if i click on save menu if i reload this page just take a look we are seeing some difference here as you can see for after blog we have got this plus icon whenever we are hovering over we are seeing both of these categories appeared here so if i click on freelancing from here i'm going to see all the posts uh, related to freelancing as you can see categorized as freelancing and this one also categorized as freelancing all right so this is how easy how simple it is if you know the process this is real real easy okay so now let's just go for these post things let me show you how post things work so let's say I have added this drop down menu of categories freelancing and wordpress i'm going to my visitors are going to find all the posts relevant to, to to these categories let's say i want to specify like after freelancing under freelancing whenever someone will just open this up they are going to see all the posts relevant to freelancing appearing here okay so let me show you how you can add these stuff right here so if i take you back here again then you have got posts as you can see from posts if i click on view all and i have got two posts which are the first one start freelancing with wordpress and this one categorized with freelancing so if i click on add to menu and if i drag them right after freelancing if i just take them here take them here okay on the top all right so just take a look i have just placed them properly right after freelancing i'll have both of these posts appearing okay 
and we are going to ignore WordPress as of now or we can simply add WordPress related posts as well. So we had two posts, WordPress 1 and example WordPress 2. So let's add them. So they are adding here, they have added here. So if I drag WordPress 1 here and WordPress 2 here, they are going to be the sub menu of freelancing in WordPress as well. So if I click on save menu and let's reload this page. And if I hover over on blog, just take a look under freelancing, we have got these posts under WordPress, we have got these posts as well. So this is how easy it is to create category based menus or the drop down menus we using categories and posts here. Okay. So now let me take you back here. What else I can show you? Okay. So let me show you the work of these custom links. I have covered the pages. I have covered posts. I have covered categories. It's time to show you the work of custom links. Okay. So if you just notice here, I have got this data entry course, Instagram influencer research course. If I click here, it is going to take me, uh, take you to my what, uh, sorry, data entry course available on Udemy. And if you click here, it is going to take you to my freelancing with Instagram influencer research job, easy job here. Okay. In this course. Okay. So how I have added these links here. Pretty simple. Just let me show you by adding them here. So as you can see, custom URLs, you have to place the URL here. For example, if I, let's say, up, add this code here. So I'm going to type out my URL here. And if I type out data entry course, just an example, okay? So if I click on add to menu, it is going to be added right here. Now you can simply uh, place it wherever you want. So I want it to be placed right after about, okay? And if I click on um, add save menu from here and reload this page, we are going to find that data entry course also added and we have added this link, added this menu item by using this custom link, right? So if I now click on data entry course, it is going to take me to the data entry course page easily, right? So now let's say whenever I am clicking on this data entry course, it is taking me to a new page instead of new window instead of staying uh, opening up in this page, right? So let me show you how you can activate this open in new window. We can simply do this by if I take you here from screen option, we have to select as you can show advanced menu properties. You have to select this link target. And after that, from data entry course, if you just hover actually click here, you are going to find this option, open link in a new tab. Just simply select this one. Let's click on save menu. And now if someone visits your website and if they click on data entry course, they are going to find this course page opening up in a new window. Okay. So this is how it works. Now let me just take you back to menu again and we have created and talked about the header menu it's time to work on the footer menu and then we are going to work uh, talk about this automatically add new top level pages to this menu okay so let me first of all show you how to add a footer menu so as you can see we have got if i just go to the appearance again let's go to menus again you are going to find we have got this header menu selected here right so now let's say you want to create a new footer menu. Simply you have to click on this create a new menu button from here. And after that you have to give the name. So I'm going to type out here footer menu. And then I have to select the menu from here. As you can see display location, it should be secondary menu so that it will be placed in the footer section. So let me click on create menu button from here. And our menu has been created. But now if we visit we'll see nothing happened here okay this should be um, added either here or yeah here in this field but nothing happened here so if i take you back here again in this page now let's go to view all from pages and i want to add let's say page sorry about services and this contact page if i click on add to menu simply then i have to click on save menu and let's just reload this page you are going to find this about contact and service pages have been added, right? So now you might going to um, tell me like, why shouldn't we add this menu here in this footer? 
maybe for footer section you have to create let me just take you to learners world maybe you have to create for footer section a custom uh, menu pages okay for example if you just notice i have got these types of pages here but when i am taking you on the footer section i have got affiliate disclosure disclaimer terms and condition privacy policy and other things here right so you have to create pages you have to create menu items and then you have to add them on your footer menu manually like this now let me take you back again and let's talk about okay so it was real easy about the footer menu okay so let's talk about this um okay from menu let's talk about this automatically add new top level pages to this menu so as of now i have got this footer menu selected so you can simply select header menu from here if i click on select the, the header menu will be selected as you can see here now let me talk about this one as of now it is not selected automatically add new top level pages to this menu so let's click on save menu we haven't selected this part and now if i show you an example from here if i create a new page a top level page which i'm going to create is going to be let's say privacy page privacy page i have just created i'm not going to add any content here instead i'm going to click on publish publish so this is a top level page here now let's let me take you into the back back um, dashboard and then if i open this page or website in a new tab you are going to see nothing appeared here we are not seeing the privacy page added here now what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this privacy page from here trash and i'm going to permanently delete this one from here okay now if i take you back to the page just take a look we have got these pages now let's say if i take you from appearance to menus and if i enable this function automatically add new top level page to this menu if i click on save menu and now if i take you to pages and if i add a new page with privacy title and let me just publish this page publish okay so we have created this page if I reload this page, you are going to see that this privacy page also been added into our header menu here, okay, automatically because this is a top level page. So this is how this option, which we have learned, let me take you back again here, this auto add pages function or the option was. So this was it guys, I'm going to unselect this one. Let me click on save menu and we might going to lose some pages from here let me see no okay so everything looks good and i don't need this privacy to be here okay so let me click on save menu and now if i reload we have got this these beautiful functional uh, drop down menus added we have customized the menus with custom links and then we have added this footer menu as well although it's not looking good are appealing as of now because of the themes um, design but you're going to customize beautiful designs and make beautiful websites soon so this was it i believe you have found this lesson helpful and easy to understand if you did please don't forget to like this video share this video along with this complete course playlist so that one of your friend or many of your friends will be benefited as well for free so Thank you so much for watching this long and I have to see you in the next video. Have a good day.